Hello, Linear Algebra students, Math 2331. This is an extra practice worksheet. It covers some of the material in section 7.1 and 7.2. So let's begin. This first problem, we're given a two by two matrix A and we're given three vectors in R2. And then we want to figure out if each one is an eigenvector for this matrix. And if so, what is the corresponding eigenvalue? In part A, well, we multiply A times minus one, one. When we do, I get four minus three, which is one, five minus six, which is minus one. You notice this is one times this vector. So this first answer, is V an eigenvector for A? Well, this is yes, because AV is a multiple of V and the eigenvalue is lambda equals one. If we recall an eigenvector for our matrix, n by n matrix, it is some vector in Rn that's non-zero and satisfies, well, say AV is a multiple of V, just like we see here. Is W an eigenvector for A? Well, it's a very similar calculation, except we calculate A times W. Here I get 8 plus 3, which is 11, and then I get 10 plus 6, which is 16. Now, is this a multiple of 2, 1? Um, no, so this is not a multiple of 2, 1. So the answer here is no. Just looking at the coordinates, the first coordinate to say the multiplier needs to be 11 over 2, and that certainly doesn't work with the second coordinate. Now we move on, letter C. Is x an eigenvector of A? Well, let's just multiply. Take matrix A and multiply by vector 3, 5. You see we have 12 plus 15, which is 27, and then we have 15 plus 30, which is 45. Now, if you look at this, you realize this is nine times the vector three, five. Let's write it. Yes. This vector X is an eigenvector for A because AX is a multiple of, of X. And we see the eigenvalue, it's lambda equals nine. Let me go back though and add this yes to the first part because that was our conclusion. Now we use this in letter D. We want to diagonalize the matrix A. And then that says that is, find an invertible matrix S and a diagonal matrix B such that A equals SB, S inverse. Well here, matrix S is our matrix of eigenvectors and B is our diagonal matrix. And so we have all of the work for this through parts, well, really through parts A and C. We can just fill things in. I can put as my first column vector one minus one in S. And that tells me that the one one entry in matrix B will be one, the eigenvalue for that vector. And also in S, I can put column three, five. And that tells me in matrix B, the two, two entry should be lambda equals nine and then diagonal. This would be a diagonalization of the matrix A. Number two, suppose A is a two by two matrix and the determinant of A is negative one third. We're going to have to use this here. We want to show that A has two distinct real eigenvalues. And then we're given a hint that a quadratic has two distinct real roots, if and only if this discriminant B squared minus four AC is strictly positive. So let's write down the characteristic polynomial for this matrix A. When we have a two by two matrix, we discussed and really justified in class a shortcut for this polynomial. It will be lambda squared and then minus the trace of the matrix times lambda and then plus the determinant. But here the determinant is negative one third, so minus one third. So the discriminant here. Oh, we have B squared minus four AC. B, right, A is one. B is minus the trace of A. C is negative one third. So we just get the trace of A squared and then minus four times negative one third, which is the trace of A squared plus four thirds. 
Well, you see, no matter what the trace of A is, its square is non-negative. And when I add four thirds, I get strictly positive. And so this FA of lambda has two distinct real roots. This is what we are trying to show here in number two. Number three, suppose A is a three by three matrix and we have three distinct eigenvalues. Lambda one is negative one, lambda two is three, and lambda three is four. The question, first question at least, what is the determinant of A? Well, when we have an N by N matrix that has N eigenvalues up to algebraic multiplicity, say, then the determinant is just the product of the eigenvalues. This is something that we discussed in class. And so the determinant of A here it's just this product, minus one times three times four, which is negative 12. Next question. It asks us, what are the eigenvalues of a squared plus a? Well, let's just calculate. So suppose we have the following, a b equals lambda b. What happens to a squared plus a times vector v? Well, this is going to be a squared V plus AV. And then really this one, we're doing A twice. So the first time we do A, we get Lambda V, which you can factor out. And then the second time you do A, you get another Lambda V. So here we get Lambda squared V and then plus Lambda V. Okay, if you wanna see it in highlighter, we would have A times AV. This would be a lambda v. Like I said, factor out the lambda, we get lambda a v. And now you see this would be lambda squared v. Okay, so this is the sort of in between step if you wanted to fill this in. But a squared v will be lambda squared v. Now you can see, factor out this number, we have lambda squared plus lambda times v. Well, to answer the question now, we have three different eigenvalues for the matrix A. So I need to compute minus one squared plus minus one. I need to compute three squared plus three, and I need to compute four squared plus four. These will be my three eigenvalues for a squared plus A, just based on this calculation above. So here I have one minus one, which is zero. Here I have nine plus three, which is 12. And here I have 16 plus four, which is 20. And so my answer, I will do in blue say, we have zero, 12, and 20. Zero, 12, and 20. Now we use this because part C says this A squared plus A invertible well, we see the answer. The answer is no, because we found all the eigenvalues. We know, for example, a matrix is invertible if and only if zero is not an eigenvalue. So here we have a three by three matrix. Zero is an eigenvalue. I would just say zero is an eigenvalue. We have calculated it above for this matrix, A squared, plus A. And this is why this matrix is not invertible. Just as a remark, it's not asked, but it's good to observe, A is invertible. I mean, the determinant is negative 12, or you could also say that zero is not an eigenvalue for A. So A itself is invertible, but we have justified A squared plus A is not invertible. Number four, we wanna find all eigenvalues for the matrix A. You see A is four by four. And then list their algebraic multiplicities. Okay, this will be fun. Finding eigenvalues, this is a determinant calculation. So we begin with a determinant. We want a determinant of A minus lambda I. And when we form the matrix A minus lambda I, what we do is we just subtract lambda from the diagonal and the rest of the matrix remains the same. So here I have minus one minus lambda, seven, three, zero. 
The next row I have zero, five minus lambda, zero, zero. The next row I have four, two, three minus lambda, zero. And the final row I have two, seven, one, two, seven, one, and then two minus lambda. Well, I have some choice about how to expand here because for example, here I have a row where every entry is zero except for one. That would be a nice choice to begin. Also though, here I have a column where every entry is zero except for one. So that would also be a nice place to expand using cofactors. I think I'll just use this one. So really either one is perfectly fine. So to get the sign here, plus minus plus, we have a plus five minus lambda. And then we will have a three by three determinant. And then this is the only three by three determinant because of the zeros in this row. We will cross off this column, cross off this row. And this is what we are left with here. Let's write it now. Now to calculate this three by three determinant, now as well, I, I will expand this column. So let's take the next step. We have five minus Lambda. And then you see it's going to be plus minus plus minus plus two minus Lambda. We cross off this row, cross off this column, and this is the two by two that I will calculate the determinant of here. We have minus one minus Lambda times three minus Lambda, and then minus 12. Well, we're pretty close to finishing here, you see. I'm going to leave these all out in front. I don't want to say multiply everything out because then I'll be left with trying to factor a degree four polynomial, which is um, not an easy thing. So I will leave the five minus Lambda and two minus Lambda as is. Then we will multiply out everything in here and refactor the quadratic that remains. Let's see, let's just write underneath what this part is because that will help me. This part is lambda squared, and then we have minus three lambda plus lambda. And then we have minus three. So that's just this part. Maybe I'll make it slightly smaller. And now we can write all what's in this parentheses. So I have a lambda squared. I have a minus two lambda. And then you see I have minus three minus 12, which is negative 15. One more step, we have five minus Lambda, we have two minus Lambda. And then what's remaining, you see it factors, we have Lambda minus five, and Lambda plus three. Now we are ready to answer this question, I'll just make this a little bit smaller, give myself a little bit more space. So the eigenvalues of this matrix are the roots of this polynomial. Or another way to say it is if you set the determinant a minus lambda i equal to zero, that's called the characteristic equation. And the solutions of that equation are the eigenvalues. So we see them here. We have lambda equals, well, five is repeated, and then we have two and negative three. And maybe I'll write this, that algebraic multiplicity of this eigenvalue is two, and then the algebraic multiplicity of two, or the algebraic multiplicity of negative three, these are both one. So I will list these explicitly, even though um, we see them listed by, as I have written, the eigenvalues. So let's underline our eigenvalues, and then this will be the end of our worksheet. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much.